We are just about two weeks away from the start of college basketball season. And despite the fact that schedules are coming out at a leisurely pace, you know, there's only about 100 schedules that are out right now, thanks to COVID-19, don't worry, do not fret. We are getting some big matchups. Hopefully, they all will be played. But, man, we start with the number one team at the top of the AP Bowl, the Gonzaga Bulldogs, who, as we've known, has become one of the top teams in college basketball over the past two decades. They start number one, and they have big matchups awaiting for them. Mark Few is going to lead this team once again. They have Baylor, they have they have Illinois, they have Iowa. I mean, just there's some big matchups going on. And the, and the Baylor-Iowa matchup specifically are going to be great because they're going to be big time, you know, games during college football, you know, because college football obviously is, you know, much more of a thing right now. But, but you know, there are some big, big matchups out here. And all the, all the, all, all the Zags need to do is one national championship. That's all they need to do. And we can cement Mark Hughes legacy right then and there. But they have to they have to win it first. They have to get it all get all the pieces together because they've lost a guy. They've lost a big, big man, you know, you know, a big key piece of their, you know, team. Philippe uh, Petrusev. Yeah, I hope I pronounced his name right. And they lost him to, he wanted to go pro. He was like, okay, you can go pro then. But hey, that's not, that's not the only guy that, that's not the only guy that leaves a big impact for a team. You know, Petrusev is gone. But Luke Garza, honestly, the top player in college basketball and, you know, one of the best players, you know, that I've seen in college the last couple of years. And the Hawkeyes of Iowa are looking to take the Big Ten by storm this year. It's going to be very interesting to see how Iowa does it. Because Iowa, there's not just Luke Garza out there. Or excuse me, Luca Garza. It's not just him. Iowa has a solid, solid team around him as well, Virginia, Villanova, and Baylor, who, you know, barely is number two. Baylor is, like, should be number one as well, but, hey, whatever. It's also Villanova. There's, there's Virginia. You know, what is Tony Bennett going to do out there, you know, in Virginia this year? I know Virginia has some big games coming up. You know, North Carolina didn't look the greatest last year. Of course, Duke is still Duke. And, you know, the conference is getting even better and better, you know, the ACC is, than it has been, you know, the last couple of years. It's, it's been crazy. The Big East, what can Villanova do? Of course, you know, there's the Big East Big 12 Challenge. Not sure, I forgot who Villanova's going to play in that game um, for the um, Big East Big 12 Challenge. I have no idea yet, but Villanova... Do not, do, do not underestimate this team. This team has won a lot of games over a short period of time. Of course, there are also other teams, you know, the Big Blue Bloods, Kansas, Duke, Kentucky. I don't see, oh yeah, North Carolina is all the way down here at number 16 right now. Of course, there's other teams like my Texas Longhorns who come in at number 19 in the country. And... There's a lot of Big Ten schools here. A lot of Big Ten schools here, especially towards the bottom. Ohio State, Rutgers, Michigan, teams that I wasn't too high on last year. Of course, there's a lot of Big 12 teams in here as well. Texas Tech, Bob Huggins out there, West Virginia. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting out here to see what in the world, you know, is going to happen this season. And of course, you know, COVID will wreck. Havoc 
like it has college football, it will wreck havoc. But we got a long season, everybody. And top five just looks so top heavy. And don't forget about six through ten. Like Wisconsin, Illinois, they're also in there. They're also looking pretty interesting. You know, the entire Big Ten is just looking very, very fun. It's going to be a fun watch this season for them. Don't forget about Creighton. Creighton will be a big challenge in Villanova, along with the rest of, you know, the Big East, of course. And UConn's back in the Big East, so congrats. Welcome back, UConn, to the Big East. Of course, Tom Izzo got infected with COVID. But don't worry about that. Michigan State is in the top 25, number 13 in the country. Don't forget about them. And for the looks of it right now, the biggest challenger to Kentucky in the SEC will be Tennessee. It's their ranked number 12 right now. What about the Pac-12? What about the Pac-12? Well, right now, it's looking like Arizona State, Oregon, and UCLA. UCLA has some big matchups themselves. Of course, CBS Sports Classic is a thing that exists. I'm not sure if they play Kentucky or Ohio State or North Carolina. It doesn't matter which, but, you know, that's going to be big for them. Of course, you know, 27 games this year for everybody. The Ivy League, I'm not sure if they're playing or not. I don't think they are. Of course, conferences are doubling up, you know, doing, you know, you know, doing it like baseball out here with the home stands, you know, with, with certain teams. And there's always, you know, other mid-majors out there in the country. I just haven't done my research, done my homework for this year. And to be honest, nobody really has done their homework this year for college basketball because it's been so crazy this season. So what in the world is going to happen? I'll tell you. There's, there's, there's a couple of big matchups. Starting, you know, on Thanksgiving, Gonzaga's taking on Kansas, and uh, I believe they're taking on Auburn as well. Um, that'll be the Fort Myers tip-off. Th those will be, uh, both Gonzaga games, I think, will be on Fox, so um, I'll talk about those when we get to that point next, in a rather about two weeks from now. You know, but I just wanted to get a little short preview out of the way right now to just talk about some of these guys, some of these big players, some of these big games, you know, because there are a lot of big games. Of course, we still have a lot of pieces to go, but the college basketball season is right around the corner, and I'm so excited. Hopefully, you know, things turn out well, you know, because the, the COVID climate that we live in right now is not easy, and, you know, you don't want to have another year of no NCAA tournament. I'd much rather have an NCAA tournament. So, see you very soon for more college basketball type stuff on the channel. Y'all take care. Have a good day.